Okay guys, we're at the Robert Lett Cemetery and we are off Hickory Valley Road in Union County, Tennessee. Um, this is a pretty good cemetery. Look at this guys, it's, it's an old one. Do you see that? We have uh, a lot of rocks for headstones. We're gonna start right here with Wolfenbarger, Harvey and Sandra. We got, I hope you guys can read it. I'm not gonna, just for the, the sake of time, I'm just gonna show the tombstones, read the names and you guys can pause the video and, and look at the dates. So we got Horace and Margaret Wolfenbarger. And Horace was a uh, private first class in World War II Army. We have Charles Paris Wiley, Private First, wait, would that be Private Second, U.S. Army, yeah. died in 2010. Uh, Christopher Wiley, pretty, pretty stone. There's a Fred and Elsie Els, Wolfenbarger. And here we have a Hauser, Horace, and Betty J. You guys can read that. Uh, Lisa Jane Hauser. And over here we have a Sonia Wolfenbarger Branham and Richard and Mary E. Wolfenbarger. Go on down. This is, a, this is an old cemetery too. I know that these are newer dates, but I'm telling you. Look at that. Okay, we have a oh, prisoner of war MIA mission, missing in action. And why he doesn't have a flag yet. Hopefully he'll get one. I should have brought some. We should bring flags. Uh, he died in 2016. Wow. And Renee Phyllis Johnson. We got an old one right here. And I'm going to get down here where I can see. And I can't read it. But the birth date on it looks like... Uh, 1882 and I do see the name Parks so if that's anybody's kin Sparks okay Sparks here's some Reverend W.E. Sparks that's a pretty little stone unique little stone James Sparks I'll go around here on this other side yep Martha Jane and Kimmy Sparks hope you guys can read that Trying to go faster, so these videos are not so long. I'm so sorry that they are, and they're boring, so don't fall asleep. Uh, Carl and Laquetta Patterson Welch. J.J. Patterson. Marvin Kenneth Welch. Uh, Gregory Allen and Donna K. Welch. And going over here. Okay, this is a Samuel Butcher, and he was 11th Tennessee Cavalry Confederate. Uh, let's see, not necessarily. It wasn't? Is that Colonel, or what does that mean? Company L. Company L, 11th. Oh, Tennessee Cavalry. Okay, Company L, 11th Tennessee Cavalry. His name's Samuel L. Butcher. Yep. That's an old one. Sarah, and that's the wife of Samuel, Sarah Butcher. And a S.C. Butcher. You can see that they died in 81, 1881. Born in 1793. Told you this is going to get old. Uh, Catherine, she's the wife of S.C. Butcher. She died in... 1866, which she's born 1802. W.H. Butcher, and that's their son. And he died in 1857. Okay. Try to get through this fast for you guys. J.C. Butcher died in 1900. I.L. Butcher died in 1903. N.C. Hurst died in 1901. Wife of Addie Hurst. Sophia, wife of S. C. Butcher. There's no death. There's no dates on that. If they are, they've been worn. Okay, here's a let. So that this must be 
what the cemetery is named after, who it is. And it looks like Laura Bell and Robert E. That's who it's named after. So maybe he donated the land for this cemetery. Up here we have Aline Warwick, R. Roma Warwick, Linda Lou, and Theo Harrell Coppock. That was Coppock. He was a Shriner. Okay. Oh, look at this one. <coughs> First burial infant of slavery, Civil War. I don't know what that means. First burial, infant of slavery, Civil War. Uh, you guys see these right here are all rocks for headstones. I'm going to go fast because no sense in trying to read those because there's nothing on them. Oh, we've got some toys. Let's be a baby. Just Joey Allen Shipley died in 81. David Dwight Shipley. Timothy Dwayne Shipley. Linda Shipley. That one's not old. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm getting out of breath. I'm trying to walk around this, it's getting a little hot. Ooh, it's an old one. It's a Smith. Uh, could it be Katie L. Smith? You guys maybe can tell I can't pause the, the video. There's another Smith. Harriet E. Smith, wife of Robert Smith. That's a big tombstone. J.R. Smith. And I'm going to stay right up here because we have some more of those can't read them. This way. Okay, can't read the name on this guy or person. Uh, I do see a J.H. Smith on the bottom. They died in 1930. And this is another Smith. Can't read the top name, but they died in 1924. We have a P.M. Smith. Died in 1931, looks like. Here's some more. I'm, I'm seeing a TH on the end, so I'm pretty sure it's a Smith. And they died in 1903. Here's some more. Looks like HJ. Trying to read that last name. Owls? No. Not Owls. I can't. Can you make it out? They died in 1912 and was born in 1844. H-U? Can't make that out. H-U-C-H-I-E, yeah. -E, it looks like. I can't make out what this says. Mm -mm. <clears throat> that has some moss. Okay, I'm going to go on down through here, show you that there is, these are just, uh, graves with the rock headstones. Uh, this might be a little longer video than what I want it to be, but I'm trying to get everybody in here. Ella Atkins. This is a big Atkins. To go down here to see who they are. It looks like George Atkins. And... Nala Atkins, and another Atkins, and the grass sea has covered it up, so I'm trying to scratch it off. Looks like Gracie or Grace Atkins, and sorry guys, I don't mean to let's show you the ground. Can't make that one out. Another Atkins. 
Glenn Allen and Connie Jean Atkins. That's a very pretty headstone. A little memorial bitch. This little round guy here. Now that's cool. Bernadine, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. J or G S Sharp. Born sleeping, 1943. And we have Gurney and Brucilla Sharp. So that was the baby's parents. And we have baby Geneva. And she was the daughter of Virgil and Jane Lett. Martha Jean Carter. And there's the Carters. Carlos Lynn Carter. James Allen Maples. Claude and Iris Maples. Feeney and Frank Maples. Ella Jane Maples. And some more rocks. Headstone markers. Here is a Lucinda Ridner. Died in 1912, born 1924. Another Ridner. Looks like David C. Ridner. Born 1925, maybe. Died in 1885. That's an old one. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. I hear some dogs are barking, but that's okay. As long as I stay in there place. Nor Ann Malone, 1879-1885. Too worn. Too worn. This one is way too worn. Yeah. Nothing on this one. Have a butcher. Daniel and Mary. Butcher. Another Malone. Esther and Bert. B-I-R-T, Bert. He died in 1907. That's born in 1901 and died in 1907. Six years old. Okay, we have a Chalmers Earl Malone. Uh, don't know what that RM3 means, you know. Third class petty officer, I don't Third class petty officer, U.S. Navy, World War I. Helen Louise Lett, Myrtle and Chester, and I'm not sure their last name, let me see right here. Lyons, L-Y-O-N-S, Lyons. Uh, let's see if there are anything on the, okay, there is something on the other side of this one. Classy. Daughter of S.C. and M.J. Lett. Just a month old. This one. No. Unreadable. Let's go to these right here real quick. Re uh, Retha Weaver Coppock. She died in 1920-something. George Coppock. That's another Copic, and I think it's Myrtle. Died in 1900. That's another Copic. Died in 1930. Another Copic. Not, or 1883 is when they passed away. Just a baby. Go around. And we got... Hmm. It's a weaver, it looks like. Copic. Something weaver Copic. And they passed away in 1913. Lu Luella, I think. Luella Weaver. And she was the daughter of C.W. Copic. I'm surprised I got to read that one. It's great. Okay. Pretty good cemetery. Sorry, I'm, I'm no 
I'm going, I'm going fast. I'm going fast. Okay, we got suffrage. Suffrage. Not selfridge, but suffrage. Martha and Glenn. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty tombstone. Must have been their church, and there they are. Nice, nice couple. Bessie and Lawrence Yates. We have Carla Annette Maples. And we have Amanda Paulette Maples. Oh, beautiful girl. Look at that. Passed away in 2003. Beautiful, beautiful young lady. China. That's not a name that's very familiar around here, but China Smelzer. There's some more. Harold and Joanne Smelzer. Don't think Joanne's passed away yet. Sue Ann Bull. Born asleep, 1954. Robert and Mabel Smelzer. Willa Dean Smelzer. Ellen Steiner. Pretty, pretty stone. Cla uh, Clara Faulkner. Go back over here. Going back and forth. Raymond Turner. I hope you guys can, you know, this is helping somebody find their ancestry. Those who can't get out and, and un unable to visit these cemeteries. You know, here's a Marion and Nola Johnson. You can watch them here on my channel. So, J.B. Uh, Washam. R.A. Washam. This looks like an old stone. I like it. H.C. and W.D. Warwick. W.A. Owsley. That one I cannot read. And here's some more rock markers. This side says M.F. Oaks. Died in 27. 1927. Let's see on this side. And this is Martha. So that's his wife. And she was a Coppic. She died in 1914. Um, Lawrence Ten Oaks. Died in 1888. Just a baby. A year old. This one died uh, just a few days after it was born. 1912. Can't read the name. Sorry. I got those. Let's see. Well, they died in 1923, but I'm unable to read the name on that one. Um, this is Simpsons, Sherman Simpsons, with an S. He was born in 1882, but I can't tell the death date. It's, it's non-readable. Charlie, Charles Simmons, he died in 1912. Nellie J. Simmons. She was born 1890. Can't tell her death date though. Got bugs. Uh, I can't read this one. They was born in 1860. Looks like seven. Died in 1897. So I'm gonna put that closer so maybe you guys can make it out can't make it out. All right, I'm going back on down this row. I'm trying to hurry. Maud Butcher and Horn LaRue. It's Milton Osco Shelby. Coy Egger Shelby. John Butcher. Lucy Ann Shelby. Corda Butcher. This one I can't read, but it does say at the bottom, they was born in 1843 and died in 1875. Non-readable. John Horn, maybe. 1909 to 1911. 
Not sure about that one. This one, I'm getting dizzy going back and forth. Uh, Rector Butcher. Yeah, Rector Butcher, uh, 1878 to 1917. And this is a Moser, Moser, 1882 maybe. Oh my God. Can you read that one? Died in 18... 82 or 92. 82. I can't, read, I can't, okay. can't read that one. There's a Elizabeth Rayleigh. Right, Rayleigh, yeah. Peter Keller. Peter Keller, and he died in 1922. And here's a Rebecca Keller. She's the wife of Peter. She died in 1923. And this one is William Turner. Died in 1890 or 1889. Let's see if he's on the other side. Yep. Sarah Shar uh, Turner, sorry, Sarah Turner, she died in 1896. And then there's also, oh, it's just a little carving on there, a little flower. Um, here's some more Coppics, William and Alice Coppic, Paul and Mary Smith. I'm going down here. Okay, here's some shekels. Looks like Anne, A-N-N-E, Shekels. She was born April, I can't tell the date, but 1860 and June, she died on June 22nd, 1939. Anne Shekels. And this is Abraham Shekels, born in, um, I know 1868 and died in 1935, but I was trying to read that other one. Rebecca Jane, Rebecca Jane Shekels, born April 4th, 1878, died on September 13th, 1950. 72 years, four months, nine days. Um, I see the shaking hands and I can't tell. This is something Shekels. It starts with an S, but maybe Sarah Shekels. I would say Sarah Shekels, 1834 to 1906. And M.S. No, M. Shekels. Died, was born in 1828, died in 1900. These need cleaning because you can't read them. Ruth Shekels, Rutha. She was born in... 1857, died in 1891. William Lafayette Shekels, born in 1871, died in 1948. And there is a Marion and Nola Johnson. I think I already done those. There's Levina, Levina Shekels. She was born in 1890 and died in 1930. Over here we have William Thomas Norris and Emily Eleanor. Over there's Lois Harmon and Private First Class Bernie. Lena Witt, Carl Witt. Cam Cameron M. Carolyn Witt and Cameron Ronald J. Witt. Or Cameron, I'm sorry. She was a Witt. He was Cameron. Crowder, Joanne. Graves Crowder and Joe Warren Crowder. Ella and Ondas, Ond, Odis, Ondas Woods. We have Engel. We have Sharon. Engel. And I can't read the other ones. Harmon's got the. Now here's a Sol Fridge. Sol Fridge. And we have Henry and Edith Selfridge. Looks like they passed away in the 90s. Over here is uh, Isabel Breeden. Trent and Sherry Russell. Pretty tombstone. 
G. Bernice and Isaac Russell. Charles Ray Walker. Opal Walker. Down here we have a new one who's passed away last year. Delph Jimmy Ryan. Young man. Copic. Carl and Bernice. We have a Timothy Whalen Seymour. He died in 2002. You can see his picture. I'll get closer. Don't want to run out of battery. Harness, Philip and Cil Cecilia Ann Harness. Down here, we got a couple of older graves here. These don't have markers, but this one does. Middleton, Farmer. Smith Howard and Norma Lou, and Blant and Geneva Wynn. They got a little dog on theirs. The Basset Hound looks like. Uh, Bessie Taylor. Over here in the very, very corner is some Taylors. Elizabeth Taylor, Desi Taylor, and Desi Lou Stafford. Come on up. I'm walking as fast as I can. I'm getting my exercise anyway, which I need. I'm going to go on. We've got Seymour. We said D. Wayne and Glenda. I'm trying to go faster. Wiley, Robert, and Mary Wiley. Sarah Elizabeth Dixon Kitts. Nancy Lynn Dixon. Warwick. Floyd. It's a different way to spell Floyd. Works though. Reba Warwick. Alonzo and Adam Beeler. Jimmy Clay Beeler. Barbara and Vaughn Beeler. Jay Sterling and Maud D. Turner. Diana Gale Walker. Looks like Jewel Walker. Uh, Anna Turner and Lula Turner. Maybe. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get fast up there. Albert Beeler. Edgar and Glenda Beeler. Jane Beeler, Thomas Beeler, can't read that one, it's kind of war, there's a Smith, another Smith, can't read it though, Fred Smith, Mary Smith, Charlie Hobart Smith, Connie Smith, Linda Chester, Chester, sorry, Chester, didn't mean to butcher your name, Judy Lynn Smith, just passed away, Ronald Eugene and Shirley Ann Muncy, and Ronald Eugene was a special first class four or whatever that is. Vietnam. Yes, Army. Amanda. Looks like Ra Riley or Holloway Guthrie. Edward Holloway. Edwards. Cammy and Sally. Edwards. Sarah. Rayleigh. B. L. Rayleigh. W.C. Smelzer and his, this is his wife, Velda G. And here's W.G. Smelzer. And this one is Richard Malone. Pretty cool stone. Died in 1908. That's an old one. And we got Lucy Let Malone. Okay, guys, listen up. Lucy Let Malone and Richard Malone. 
She was born in 1793 and died in 1865. He was born in 1791 and died in 1858. They was married February the 28th, 1811. Pioneers to Tennessee from Mecklenburg, Virginia. Told you this was an old, old cemetery. Somebody's put that up. And I'm glad for it, see? Guys, if you're kin to the Malones, right here is a good family history, right here. And we got Esther and Richard Malone. And this is an odd, very odd looking feelers. 18, he died in 1890 something. But I'm not sure. And Sarah Graves Beeler. Can't figure out her death date, but that's a really odd looking stone. We're almost done. William Beeler. No dates. Don't see a date on those. Who is F.M. Beeler? Can't read the dates, but I'm going to let you guys try to see if you can figure it out. Here's a David Gray's. And. Hear my stomach growling. Uh, Charles. Can't make that out. And here's a Beeler. Odell, maybe. Beeler. Sally Marie Edwards. Oh, look at this animal. Great. We know what they did. D.M. Beeler. Look at that, guys. That's a cool stone. And got the hammer. And J. A. Beeler. That's cool. You see it backs up to pasture land. Just like the rest of them. Here's Danny. Daniel. Sorry. Daniel Beeler. We're almost done. John Rayleigh. And then we've got M. J. Wife of T.D.A. Savage. She died in 1912. Okay. Enza and W.G. Turner. Pretty stone. And I'm about done. I think I'm done and done and done. Yeah, done, done these. Pretty sure I did. And we're finished. And there was a quick tour. I know you probably think it wasn't because it's 30 some minutes long, but that's a big cemetery. I'm gonna pan around, let you look at it one more time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you want any more. I'm, I like doing it and it's for ancestry. So I'd like to know if there's any good stories about any of the people that are buried here that you know of. You know, we do know there's uh, first pioneers buried right over there. So let me know. I appreciate it. Thank you.